Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Kizzy and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2022 reading journal setup. It's the same journal I've used for the last three years. I'm guessing this is going to be the last year that I use it because one, it is falling apart and two, I mean, there are still plenty of pages left. I just don't think it's going to survive the next year. <laughs> but if you've seen my past two previous setups, they will be down below. This year I've gone for a little bit of a different theme. A lot of my previous ones have been all watercolour. I didn't have watercolours with me. I had very little equipment actually to do this one this year. So I've gone for a kind of sketchy and brown paper theme. And we're going to call it minimalist. Even though it took me, on average I would say, on average on guessing, about nine hours to do even though it's like one, two, three, four, five, six spreads. So not very many, but if you'd like to have a look and see what pages I've decided to do at the start of my journal, feel free to stick around and have a look. Down below, I'll have listed all the things that I've used, um, my journal, some recommended journals as well that I think I'll be going on to next time that I've kind of looked at and seen decent. So if, you don't, if you're not into like papier, kind of like the decorative journals, you like more of a kind of like a plain, journal check those ones out before down below and then just the stuff that i use basically a black pen and some paper because that's basically it and a glue stick so yeah i will do a little flip through walk through how i did it and i haven't filmed myself making it like i have in previous years just because those videos are always really long and i don't know how entertaining they actually are so i thought it would just be better if i actually just discussed it and as i flip through it so let's do that now so I'm not sure how this angle is working, but I don't have my right tripod with me, so it's gonna have to be this way, me just holding it kind of here. <laughs> but we have this year's opening page here. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. It's meant to look like stitching, but it doesn't, so it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna change this to here. I'm not sure what to, but I will do. And then on this page, we have read two, buy one, which is my rule for the year that I have to read two books before I can buy another one and to kind of make, because they're going to be much more thought through purchases, I'm going to have a priority buys list down this side of books that I really want to buy as that one book and perhaps the books that I've actually bought I will put down here, I'm not sure yet, we'll see on that one. I've gone for a theme of kind of sketchy drawing, like book drawings, um, mainly because my pen was really crap, so <laughs> it looks bad anyway, so I'm just going to embrace it. <laughs> Then I'm going to try again, I didn't do this last year but I did try the year before, it didn't particularly work out very well, I don't think I did it for very long, um, if I can find it, yeah, it didn't go very well and the pens I chose, they were metallic but for, they dried out really quickly and they kind of went this like much darker colour, um, which looked really bad, like the, the metallicness disappeared really quickly, so I'm going to choose my colours much more carefully this year. Um, and I've also gone for smaller keys, um, just in case I don't get to read much, but hopefully I will get at least 25 pages a day, or in between a little bit every day, so that I will have something to fill them in with. So the key is like a little book shelf with an open book, um, and I'm, I just go up in 25 intervals until 200, and then it's just going to be anything above then, because I think there will be rare days. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just fill in the colour um, for each day of the year. I need to block out actually the ones that aren't all 31 days there. I shall do that. Then on this page we have my 2021 pre-orders, or 2022 even, pre-orders. It went a bit wonky. We're embracing the, the, the errors of the journal because I just couldn't be bothered redoing it. I also, my handwriting's shocking on this, so it kind of ruins it. But I've got a little stamp, date stamp, that I use just to pop the date in um, and then write the title of the pre-orders that I've ordered. I don't know if I've ordered all of them, but they're definitely ones that I want to keep an eye out on. I've actually ordered quite a lot of them, but they're ones I want to know about, basically, are um, going in here. This page I completely redid. I will link down below what I did previously or the inspiration I had previously. It was like an open book with like the pages where you could write on them down the side. I didn't like how it looked in, I didn't think it fit with the rest of kind of the theme. So I also took this inspiration of the stack of books from a Pinterest pinch picture, which I will also link below. But this will just be, I'll write the names of all the books that I've read down here and then fill in my kind of Goodreads goal down here. It only goes to 37, so I might have to add a couple more like pieces of paper around here to add some more squares to fill in 
if I make it to 37 let's not be hasty but that's the plan so yeah this is why it's all kind of paper because I covered up basically what I had previously on here then we have 22 books in 2022 this is kind of like my priority TBR or my books I really really want to read in 2022 I'm already reading this one this one's a new release I've had this for years now pre-order that I didn't read last year why are you not focusing then we have the Iniad. I want to read more classics so that's one of the classics I want to read another pre-order for this year pre-order for this year another book that just sounds really interesting recently bought a non-fiction because I want to get into more non-fiction Sanderson because I need to read Rhythm of War and to do that I need to read this trilogy hold on the baby boy wants in two seconds say hello say hello Leo Say hello. Look this way. Look at the camera. Yeah. Hey. You're a beautiful baby. <laughs> Quick interlude there. But yeah. Um. So I need to read this trilogy to read this. So that will be my next one. Then we have Honeycomb by um, Joanne M. Harris. This is one of my most anticipated reads. Because I think I'll really enjoy it. But I'm a bit nervous because I haven't previously liked her writing before but the story just sounds amazing then we've got troy which is another pre-order i had a lot from two years ago i think i don't know two years ago i think and i still haven't read it this is a series that i really need to finish so it's on here anna karenina for years i've been saying i'm going to read this this will be the year i will read this another non-fiction that i've got then we have the secret history which i know i'm going to get to soon because it's in a book club read that i'm doing hopefully this year that will be i think my next read then this is pre-ordered for the end of the month i think or february can't quite remember wait let's have a look february february 15th it comes out in the uk this is a book that i just want to get to terry pratchett I haven't read anything of terry pratchett and i feel like i need to women of troy is another pre-order that i had from last year or this year it will be last year no matter what now because it's 2022 but pre-order that i didn't read so it's on here this is a classic that i also own that i haven't read the jungle book but i would also really like to and another book that i've had for quite a while now the second book's out so i feel like i can read it now i've tried to put only books that i own i've obviously got my read to buy one rule and that is gonna also stand for pre-orders so the books that i've already pre-ordered i'm kind of like minus ones that i need to now catch up and read more of basically i, I, need, to, I need to read two for that one and two for that one so four books before I can actually buy another book. Oh, and that one. So six more books before I can actually buy, start buying books, basically. Eight more, because then I'll have to read another two to buy one. Oh gosh, I'm never going to buy a book this year. But yeah, this is my this is my 2022 books in 2022. Then the last kind of section I have is my non-fiction of 2022 and the classics to read in 2022, because these are my two kind of reading goals that I have outside of just like numbers of trying to read a certain amount i would like to read more non-fiction that can include like a lot of things to be honest um we've got biographies writing kind of books more on kind of like classic theory that kind of thing um and history about classical literature um, I'd like to read a bit more about that as well. So that will all be in the non-fiction of 2022, hopefully. And then my classics to read. I'm going to try and read nine classics. I want it to be like one a month because I'm reading Anna Karenina, which is 900 pages. I'm going to split that down into three months, I think, of trying to read that one. So then that will take up basically three months of reading. So then we've got another eight books to read throughout the months. So that's the goal. Then here I have my reviews page. So obviously I started on the 1st of January, The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. Um, I'll use my little stamp and put when I finish it and then this will just be my thoughts down the side and that will continue on for as many reviews that I do and then obviously I can add pages and continue this using the bullet journal kind of method of like the numbers down the side to to kind of if that needs to be broken up at all to add more pages in so yeah that is my reading journal spread for 2022 I hope you enjoy it if there's any more pages or links to pages or kind of ideas that you think are handy to have and um, please let me know because I feel like I have missed out a few pages that I would like to have in here already but I keep forgetting what they are so <laughs> please let me know how your journal is going if you're going to do a journal this year or if you've already done one and I hope we see you in another video very soon bye